turmoil inside the White House, pushback on President Trump's transgender ban, and a stall to Senate plans for a health care overhaul. This is a Fox News alert. Good evening. I'm Brett Baer coming to you tonight from the White House, where it looks like the Trump administration is getting closer and closer to cleaning house over leaks within the administration itself. And it's getting interesting tonight. While over on Capitol Hill, the Senate cannot move forward with a planned votorama on health care because lawmakers don't even have the votes on a final plan yet. Another wild day in Washington. And it is just breaking now. We begin tonight with a fight that began overnight in a single tweet from new White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci, taking aim at the President's Chief of Staff, Reince Priebus. Despite deleting that tweet, Scaramucci is not backing down and reportedly getting vulgar with his attacks on other people in the administration. Of course, one of Kevin Court joins me here on the North Lawn with a breakdown of what went down between two of the President's top aides and really an amazing story in New Yorker coming out just in the past few minutes. Yeah, amazing and, and vulgar at the same time. You're going to hear a great deal about this, Brett, over the next several hours and maybe the next several days. Uh, we're talking about Anthony Scaramucci having a conversation with a reporter, a reporter that, by the way, he called, and we understand he was actually not telling him it was off the record or on background in any way. So let me just share part of the conversation, and it was uh, blue, to say the least. This is just one quote. Reince, speaking of his uh, chief of staff, Reince, previous we're talking about, is a expletive, paranoid, schizophrenic, a paranoiac. Now, let's be blunt here. You and I have covered several White House administrations in the past, and we understand that palace intrigue is par for the course, especially for a new administration, but it's also fair to say that when it becomes burdensome or consistent, as it has in this case, it can certainly undermine the messaging, and that's especially important at a time when the Trump administration is trying to get on message, perhaps for the first time. They are American heroes, and we salute them. Even as the president today celebrated the bravery and loyalty to duty of law enforcement officers who helped stop the gunman who shot Congressman Steve Scalise and others at a GOP softball practice last month, it was his loyalty that was being called into question. Sir, does the president have confidence in his chief of staff? Look, I, I think I've addressed this uh, question uh, when it comes to staffing and personnel many times, that if the president doesn't, then uh, he'll make that decision. We all serve at the pleasure of the president, and um, if he gets to a place where that isn't the case, he'll let you know. Reince Priebus is under fire after being accused by new White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci of leaking his financial disclosure information to Politico. Scaramucci writing in a now deleted tweet in light of the leak of my financial disclosure info, which is a felony, I will be contacting the FBI and the Justice Department. Hashtag swamp at Reince 45. Later, Scaramucci denied that he was singling out Priebus, tweeting, wrong. Tweet was public notice to leakers that all senior administration officials are helping to end illegal leaks. If Reince wants to explain that he's not a leaker, let him do that. But let me tell you something about myself. I am a straight shooter. And I'll go right to the heart of the matter. He's making clear that even though these documents are eventually uh, procurable publicly, that somebody doesn't want him here. And somebody is trying to get in his way and scare him off from working here, which is a huge mistake. Politico denies the form was leaked, citing its public records availability. If Priebus is on thin ice, he joined the Attorney General Jeff Sessions on the list of those under increased presidential scrutiny. In a conversation with Fox News, Sessions he said the, the steady barrage of Twitter takedowns haven't gone unnoticed. Well, um, it's kind of hurtful, but the President of the United States is a strong leader. He is determined to move this country in the direction he believes it needs to go to make us great again. And he has uh, uh, had a lot of criticisms, and he's uh, steadfastly determined to get his job done, and he wants all of us to do our jobs, and that's what I intend to do. The president's tweets yesterday stating that transgender service personnel would no longer be allowed to serve in the U.S. military caught some senior Pentagon officials by surprise. Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Joseph Dunford has informed service members that there will be, quote, no modifications to the current policy until the president's direction has been received by the Secretary of Defense and the secretary has issued implementation guidance. Speaking at the National Press Club today, Army Chief of Staff General Mark Milley said he learned about the president's decision through the media. We will work through uh, the implementation guidance when we get, get it. 
uh, and then we'll move from there. H.R. McMaster, the National Security Advisor, actually called the Defense Secretary, Jim Mattis, while he was on vacation to tell him about the president's decision. He was none too pleased about the social media rollout of this new policy. By the way, for what it's worth, former Secretary of Defense Ash Carter also disagrees with this new policy position, Brett. Yeah, I heard from the Pentagon also that Mattis was aware of Dunford's statement before it came out That's right. ahead of time. I want to ask you, have we heard anything yet about this New Yorker piece, about the quotes that we're seeing, about the dust-up officially from the White House? Well, because it has happened so late in the day, they're pretty quiet, actually, to be honest with you right now, although we did hear from a your administration official telling us that some folks are feeling uneasy to say the least, perhaps even fearing for the jobs. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Mm -hmm.